one of the biggest Georgia Bulldog commitments that you really started that 2017 class. How does it feel now, you know, after a big Sugar Bowl win? I mean, you know, it feels great to be a part of this team, man. These guys come out here and they, they did everything that they were supposed to do, man. And I was, you know, blessed and fortunate enough to just to be in their presence and be able to play my pivotal role also in this uh, defense. Money said that you wanted two picks tonight. You've been saying it all week. I mean, was this kind of the game you expected tonight? Oh, yeah, definitely speaking into existence, man. That's something real big on faith and things like that. So I was, you know, me and Monty were sitting in a room playing a fo uh, football game, playing mad, you know, just talking about the game and, up and our upcoming, you know, uh, game and th that we had going on that we were just, you know, I was just like, tell me some of your goals for the game. He told me his. I told him mine. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, just speaking it to the air. Lewis Seen had a really nice game tonight. Is that a guy you took on your wing? How has he developed this? Oh, yeah, little year? bro. That, that's little bro, man. Lewis came here, man. He, he don't say much. He just come here and try to put everything together. You know, he's also learning because he's young. Right. But, man, I can't, you can ask anything better than him, man. He came out here to play ball. And I'm proud of uh, Lewis. How difficult is it to kind of switch that midseason or you know, in the SEC championship and then in this game, you know, the guy you're working with back there? Uh, man, it's not hard, man. Communication, man, breaks down a lot of those things. And, you know, uh, being able to have a clear understanding of what's going on in that back end is pretty, it's pretty good, man. All those guys in the room are capable of doing their, our job. You've got a lot of players out that have been playing all year that didn't come tonight. Talk about what it, what it meant for the younger guys to step in. And, and Definitely, man. That that like what you just said was big, man. Those guys, the young guys, had to come in there and step up and play, man. Show show everybody what they're here for, man. These guys came here for a reason, and you know they the reason was just to sit back and watch. They got involved and they did their thing. I'm so proud of these guys. Obviously, that's important for this game. How important is it going into next season for those young guys to get those kind of valuable skills? Oh, yeah, man. Let those guys see, you know, how things could be when all of us come together and buy in, man, that, that you know, we're always going to be here, the older guys, to, you know, watch over and help them. And that we're the big brothers. And, and when it was time for them to step up, they stepped up. And that's what I'm most proud of. Any surprise that they were able to do that? No. Nah. These guys, four-star, five-star guys, are more, more than capable of coming in and doing what they got to do. Did y'all play with a chip on your shoulder this week? I mean, you're one of the best defenses really in school history, but did y'all have that chip on your shoulder mentality coming into this week? Yeah, man, we always got a chip, man. When I mean, we come here and we, we put the ball on the ground and we play defense, that's always a mindset to, you know, dominate. And, you know, we didn't, you know, rattle ourselves or overwhelm ourselves with, with Baylor or anything like that. We came in here, we got our game plan, and we did what we had to do. Thank you.